this video, we're going to be doing an introduction to CSS Grid. Now we're going to be trying to do this a little different. Instead of just giving you a regular tutorial, we're going to be building something. So let's go ahead and look at what we're going to build. So this is going to be our final product here, and it's just a landing page for a potential startup. Um, and we're going to go over kind of how CSS Grid works and take you through that and build this at the same time. So let's get started with that. So this is what we have right now, and we just have two files, an index.css and an index.html. Index.css is blank currently, and our index.html has some markup text, uh, just of our structure of what we want. So that'll be available in the link uh, to the GitHub below. And then we also have uh, an SGV, uh, SVG rather file here. Um, and I'll actually show you if we go over to here and we can go, I think it's undraw, yeah, undraw.co. They have a bunch of different SVGs you can download uh, and use for free, uh, let's see, illustrations here. So I just chose one of these. Um, so you can do that, click it, whatever one you want and download it. And that's gonna be for our kind of hero or the header. Uh, basically that's this here. So that's great. So I guess uh, we can just get into it. Um, so. I go to the GitHub, get that index.html, just easier than you watch me type out uh, some basic HTML because it's mostly a CSS grid course. And then uh, come over to our, so first let's actually go over to your terminal and uh, type in open index.html. Uh, and we'll just open that up and see what it looks like currently. So this is without any CSS um, and it's just your bla uh, blank HTML. So that's good, structure seems fine, everything's set up. So that's about it. So we can close out of this, we don't need that really. Uh, and we can get rid of this because we'll just be using these two files. So let's head over to the index.css and actually let's go over this real quick. So basically we have a div that's a wrapper, we have a nav bar and we're gonna have a hero just with the um, intro text there and then we're gonna have a section and that's gonna have three cards and then a footer. So all pretty basic, uh, but hopefully it's a good intro to CSS Grid and uh, kind of get you on your way there. So the first thing we wanna do is hit our dot wrapper element and this is gonna wrap our entire structure of our CSS Grid. So we're gonna go display and we'll type in grid and that'll tell it that we're using CSS Grid. Now, from here we go, uh, we're gonna go grid, template, uh, columns. And we're gonna go one, fr, one, fr, one, fr. So what is fr? fr is simply a fractional unit. So you actually could use uh, percentages. So if you had four of them or something, you go 25%. Um, instead of using the FR, but just the same, we're gonna use fractional units. So this means you're gonna have three, one fractional unit um, grids here, uh, columns rather. So those will be equally spaced. And then below that, we're gonna go grid template rows. And for that, we're gonna go 0.5 FR, 4.5 FR, 4.5 FR, and 0.5 FR. And those are our rows. So if we go back here, we'll see, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have our columns. So we're gonna have three, so one, two, three width wise. And then we'll have our uh, 0.5, which is the first one, which is gonna be our nav then 4.5 for our hero, 4.5, and then our tiny um, at the bottom, we're gonna have a tiny uh, footer there. So that's how that'll work. So that's kind of the basic structure for our entire thing. Uh, and then on top of that, we wanna go and we wanna add a little bit of margin just on the left and right. So uh, margin and let's go left and we're gonna go what two M's and then margin right and we're gonna go two M's. Now it'll just give us a little more space there. 
So let's work on our first element in there. So that's gonna be our nav. So we can go dot nav. And this is uh, how you're gonna to wanna to do this. So to tell uh, the columns, we go uh, grid column, and we wanna go grid column start and one. And I'm gonna show you another way to do this also. That's a little simpler. Uh, so you don't have to type out all this. Uh, what are we, grid column end? Grid column end four. So this is the first way you can look at this. So basically for our nav, we want it to start in the first column and go all the way to the fourth column. Now it says we only have three columns here, but it's gonna go to the end of that. So it, uh, it looks at it as if it's a fourth column. So that's where we want it. So that's basically spanning across our entire screen. And then below that, we're just gonna do uh, a border bottom for that. And we'll go 1px solid and black. And we gotta get our px in there. And that should be good. Make sure our semicolons are on. And we'll save that and let's come back and just see if there's anything there. And this is our nav. So you see it spans the entire thing. Got the title at the right there uh, and everything else isn't quite set up yet. But I think that's uh, not a bad start for our nav. So let's come back here. And the next thing we're gonna look at is our uh, hero element. So let's come below and we'll go dot hero. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna show you how we can do this in a, a simplified manner. So come up here and comment that out. Uh, come down and below this, we can just go grid column and then we can go one slash four. So basically that's the same thing. We're gonna start at one here and then go till four. That just simplifies things a little bit. So let's go down to our hero here and we can do the same thing. Grid column again. And again, for this one, we're gonna uh, do the same thing where we go one slash four here and that'll work. And then we're gonna give it a margin top and we're gonna go three M's for that. And we're gonna go and align text to align, align the text to the end. And we're gonna go and give a background image. And for that, we're gonna go the URL is undraw.svg. And if we open this up here, you'll see this is the uh, undraw.svg that we have, um, that we downloaded earlier. So that should be good. And a couple more properties here. Uh, background, repeat, we wanna go no repeat, so it doesn't just fill the screen repeatedly. And then background uh, size. And we're gonna go 50 M's and 20 M's for within our height. Okay, so that should be that. Um, maybe let's go over and check that out, just see what we got going here. i uh, refresh that, okay. So this is pretty good, still bunched up, but looking like we got our header a little bit uh, better now. So let's keep it going. Give us a little more space here. And let's come down and the next thing we're gonna do is hit our section. So this is gonna be the three uh, these three, which we want lined up uh, beside each other. So let's come back here. We're gonna go dot section. And again, grid column. And we want the section to span the whole thing. So again, one, one, dash four, one slash four. And then inside this section, we're gonna want a grid of its own. So we can go display uh, grid again. And we can go grid uh, template columns. And for this, we can do something, can use the property repeat. So that'll repeat three columns and they're gonna be one FR each. So that'll equally spread one FR. And then we're gonna have a grid 
gap here. And we're gonna go, you can also do picks. Uh, we're using either picks and M's. Uh, either one really doesn't matter. Um, so let's go, we'll go 30 PX for that. And then we'll just do a margin top and we'll go 0 0.5 M's. Um, usually we probably wouldn't mix and match those, but just showing that we can do it here, it doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna do a little styling for our H1s and our H2s. So H1, bring this up a little bit for you here. And we're just gonna go margin right. And that's gonna be three Ms, okay. And then a margin top of two Ms. Give us a little more room with, with those. And we'll go H2. And we'll go text align. And for that, we want text align at center. And then margin top of five M's. Okay. So that should be good. Let's go back. I don't know if anything will be ch too changed from that, but we'll refresh it. Okay. So now we got our structure. We got our cards, which these will be our cards. And it's looking pretty good. Our footer's still there. We still got some work to do. Let's come down here. Now we're gonna work on these cards. So let's go dot cards. And we're just gonna do a background of white. And we're gonna do a border radius of five picks. And border radius will just round, that'll round the corners a little bit. So it gives us a little uh, less sharp edges. And we wanna do a box shadow. So I'm just gonna come in here and copy this box shadow. And that's gonna make it pop out a little bit. And then we're gonna go margin top. And there's gonna be a 2M margin top. We want to go and give it a height of 100% so it fills up the whole section. And we want to align uh, the items to the center. So that'll be the elements within the cards. We want to align them to center. Okay, let's take this, give it another look, refresh this. So these are the cards here, they're popping out a little bit. That's good. So let's come back here. And we're gonna do a hover over the cards. So to do that, we can do dot cards and we can do a hover. And that'll give us a little slight animation. And we do that by going transform and we wanna scale it up by 1.1. So it'll just be slightly bigger on hover. Then we can come below again Give us a little more room, we'll do our footer, and go grid column again, and that's gonna be 1-4, spend the whole way. And what else we got here? We wanna go and give it a margin top of two M's. Okay, and then that footer, the text in the footer is an H3. So we go footer.h3, dot footer h3. And this is how, so we used to before grid or flexbox, you just, you'd float elements generally. So you can still do that. If you only got one element or something easy like that. Float right and come back here and we'll reset that. And now it's starting to look pretty good. So we have all this, the contacts at the bottom, these buttons still don't look great. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. So I'm gonna come in here. Uh, I have just some button styles here. You can just copy down, pretty generic stuff. But uh, so it looks like this. So it's gonna be display, display block, uh, margin auto background. Anyways, we don't need to go through all those, but just some styling for the button. And then if we save that, we can come back here and refresh and now we got a nice little landing page for our fake startup and we're ready to just rake in the dough we got a machine learning blockchain startup we're going to be doing pretty good 
So as you can see, this little hover effect looks okay. And uh, yeah, so not the greatest looking uh, landing page, but hopefully that was an okay intro to CSS Grid and gave you a little bit of uh, somewhere to go from here. Um, obviously very introductory and uh, there's a lot more to learn. But um, yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe or hit the like button. And until the next one, thanks for watching.